injuries. And then we'll talk about another controversial topic at the end. <laughs> Guess you you know, you already know what it what we're going to talk about, but well, let's just briefly touch upon injuries. I already mentioned it. AJ Epinesa leaves this game with a rib injury. He gets cleared to come back, but then he gets downgraded to doubtful. So I don't really know what that whole progression of like injuries were, but it that just seemed very odd to me. I thought that there was a good chance that he was going to come back and I was excited because he had a splash play and very similar to how Greg Rousseau had a splash play against pretty much the same exact defensive play. You know, jump up on a screen pass, get the interception. AJ Epinesa, it's his contract year. Feels like he's doing a lot to get the bag. And I like that. He's motivated. Put him back out there. But he didn't because of the rib injury. Kind of frustrating. We probably could have used him towards at least in that second half. And then I think about, oh, what's his name? Micah Hyde. You know, he, he gets shaken up on a tackle. And then right after that play, he's in. And I'm like, all right, we're, we're good. We're good. Micah's fine. And then he gets really sh- shaken up. And he's like writhing in pain on the ground. And then he's on the sideline. And he looks okay. I I don't really know how I feel about that. Like, I feel like he's hurt. And I, I'm i getting a lot of mixed messages, like writhing in pain, standing on the sideline, looking okay. If he, I feel like if he was that banged up, he would go straight to the locker room, right? But he stayed and watched the rest of the game, to my knowledge. And I question whether he's going to be available against the Cowboys next week. And I believe there's another injury in there too, but what was it, Kincaid? Yeah, was King, it? Kincaid had a um, shoulder. Um, I think he was like questionable to return as well they're Mm -hmm. feeling positive about that um the micah hyde one is one that i really don't like um is they i i saw today that they were saying it was stingers again um which is something that he's already dealt with and it kind of makes sense to me that he was standing on the sidelines because it's kind of that you know you don't really know when it's going to happen or what's triggering it, like the nerve pain that just like shuts down your body. Um, it's always concerning to me because he's already had that neck fusion. This is the second time that we've seen the stingers. Um, I, I don't know if he's going to be available going forward. I don't. I, it makes me feel like when we look beyond the season that he's probably pretty close to hanging it up. How, how long do you want to deal with, you know, concerning neck issues? Um, when mm-hmm. you got your whole rest of your life to live. Um, but yeah, the, those stingers are a real, real tricky one. And I'm, I'm not feeling great about his uh, availability for Dallas. Yeah. And if he can't go, then, I mean, what do we do? What, I mean, what, what, what do we got? Taylor Rapp, Cam Lewis, tomorrow. Taylor Rapp hasn't looked great. Nope. In that free safety spot. You kind of lose that whole disguise coverage thing. But, you know, maybe maybe you don't. Maybe he's getting better. Cam Lewis, I, I'd i like to have high hopes for him, but I, I've just seen a lot of lowlights. And, you know, he does contribute a lot on the team. I, I'll give him that. It's just, I, it's hard to replace Micah Hyde. And even on a, and I'll, you know, hot take, I don't think Micah Hyde's having his best season. I really don't. I don't think either of the safeties are having their best season. It's kind of frustrating to say that and you know i i got a lot of flack for that for saying that like out in public but i mean these guys are old that's not really in it i'm not saying they're bad i'm just saying they're not in their prime you know i'm not saying they're trash <laughs> i'm just saying they're not in their prime yeah i i would agree with that completely i think they're i think they're getting a little bit too much flack this year because we're used to them being like these tremendous high-end playmakers like Hyde's ridiculous interception against the Patriots you know everything Poyer was doing last year I think we're used to them being such high impact players on the back end of the defense that like Mm -hmm. they're both playing at at least an adequate levels starting safety um level it's just a step down from what we're used to um Mm -hmm. and like you said Father Time is undefeated. Um, I think it was kind of already the idea of like 
we got to start looking at the backup plan here. Um, for me, maybe maybe Poyer finishes out that last year. I think you probably let Hyde go, and uh, mm. I say that like with emotions welling up behind me because he's been such a tremendous player. But it, it's a business, man. Things happen. Yeah, you got you got to be okay with saying goodbye to some players, unfortunately, especially in this off season. 